Well, sailors on USS Jason Dunham are getting home just in time for the holidays. The guided missile destroyer came back to Naval Station Norfolk just a few moments ago. The crew has been at sea for the past seven months. It's also been a pretty tough deployment, too. 13 News Now reporter Megan Chin was there as families were united, reunited, I should say. She joins us now with those reactions. Hey, Megan. Yeah, there was so much excitement here today, you guys. USS Jason Dunham is officially back at its home port here at Naval Station Norfolk. With just days until Christmas, more than 300 sailors are now reunited with their loved ones. From the first kiss to meeting a newborn. I'm just happy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. More than 300 sailors from the USS Jason Dunham are welcomed with open arms just in time for the holidays. Oh man, I'm so happy to be back. After seven months at sea, the guided missile destroyer returned to its home port, Naval Station Norfolk. It's just too long for him to be away from us. But I'm glad he's home. During the deployment, the ship traveled more than 44,000 nautical miles through the Navy's U.S. 5th and 6th Fleet areas of operation, Mediterranean and Pacific, through the Western Indian Ocean. While at sea, the sailors kept international waters safe and open for transportation in the central region. And they did a phenomenal job. The ship's commanding officer, John Hamilton, says they completed many international missions. In August, Jason Dunham's sailors got more than 2,800 illegal AK-47s off a small boat, sailing without a country's flag in the Gulf of Aden. Found what they were doing, got some pretty good footage of them doing bad things in the evening. But today, it's time to take a break from the work. Homecoming is the best thing that we do in the Navy. It's a feeling the privateer family knows well, with several generations of serving the country. 42 years ago, I was standing here to meet my husband. But when you are home, it's... There's, there's no words to explain. Today, tears of joy replace the words to express how it feels to have the Navy crew home for the holidays. Commander John Hamilton says the next step for all the sailors is some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Then after the holidays, it will start an 18-month process before the next deployment. Reporting live at Naval Station Norfolk, Megan Shen, 13 News Now.